so uh, uh, I'm here with a, a small message about the Ebola virus. So there's lots of uh, people dying right now uh, from Ebola, uh, Ebola uh, uh, in Africa and other places. And uh, uh, there seems to be there seems to be no cure for this. So uh, I wanted to talk about this product that I know is called Bee Propolis, and it's the inner lining of, of, a, of a honeybee comb, basically. Uh, it protects the comb. It protects the 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 the, the queen from uh, bacteria and viruses that that may be picked up on the bees when they come into the comb. Uh, so, uh, bee propolis is antiviral, and antibacterial, um, and antimicrobial. That's the uh, the properties it has. So, uh, the Ebola virus is a virus. Um, it has a bacteria that causes that virus, uh, and it's and it creates it creates microbes in the body, which creates boils uh, internally and externally. So I have an idea, and I'm hoping that somebody out there, just somebody, like an African doctor or somebody, just anybody, will take my video seriously and just think about the possibility of using a high, a super, super high concentrated dose of bee propolis internally and externally on the wounds and internally for the body. Uh, personally, I have used bee propolis myself for smaller things, obviously not in Ebola virus, but for uh, boils, for like ingrown hairs or just boils from bacteria in the body that has wanted to exit my body. Uh, when I first learned about it, it was a discovery. Uh, when I read on the bottle that that's what it is, it was, it was labeled as antimicrobial, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, and antiviral. Uh, I realized to myself that I was going to try it, and I did. And I've been using it uh, all the time for uh, for when I get boils or when I get uh, uh, ingrown hair. And uh, I've also used it for uh, teeth infections when I have when I have uh, inflammation uh, due to uh, like a um, uh, root canal. So. I have this idea, and I'm really hoping and I'm challenging some of the doctors out there, even our Canadian doctors or U.S. doctors, some doctor, some doctor's got to try this. I'm guessing it's probably going to be somebody in Africa, or it's going to be somebody somewhere else. I just believe that if you were to take a super high dose of it and give it to people each and every day, a couple of times a day, and use it topically, that might it might work. I'm not saying it's going to work. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a naturopath doctor. I'm not uh, anyone who should really be giving advice except for the fact that I just have this idea. I'm just hoping that somebody's going to try it. Now, the problem with it, the challenge is that not everyone can use it. You cannot be allergic to bees. You cannot be allergic to honey. You cannot be allergic to anything that a bee produces. If you're allergic to those things, you cannot take this or try to take this. You cannot use it if you do not, if you have, if you have an allergy to bees or anything that bee produces. Having said that, I'm sure there's things that people could take while administering this bee propolis to counteract the side effects of being allergic to bees, honey, or bee propolis itself. So what I'm suggesting is It would be nice for people to try it in these countries, and I believe there's somebody out there who will. And I just think that uh, that it might, it could work. I'm not saying it's going to work. I'm not saying I'm not saying that this is a miracle cure. I'm just saying that if the Ebola virus is truly a viral infection with a bacteria uh, and microbe causing boils and liver damage and all these things, then there might be a chance. Even if it's a slim to none chance, a slim to none chance that it might work. So, I believe it would have to be super, super concentrated high doses. 
high, high, extremely doses. Extremely high doses. If you do your research on B propolis, P R O P O L I S, B E, B E propolis, you'll find that what I told you is the truth. Taken in small amounts is used for cold viruses and things like that. Cold infections usually of the mouth or throat infections or mouth infections. But it's also antiviral, antibacterial, and antimicrobial, as well as anti inflammatory. I just would like to see somebody out there just try to use it on somebody who's willing to try to do it. If you're not allergic to bees and you've had a bee sting before, you can use bee propolis. If you're not allergic to bees or not allergic to honey, you can use this product. And there might be a chance that somebody, some people might be able to be saved from this virus. So I just want to throw it out there and hopefully somebody in Africa or Nigeria or someone like that might be willing to try this. Thank you.